And now to satire. And we're thrilled to announce that the Batuta advocate has conned another victim. This time, the wannabe Outback website has taken Brisbane's Radio 4BC for mugs with an outlandish moral tale about three junkies, a home invasion and a plucky 78-year-old retired boxer. Yeah, just feel like this is one for the good guys. In the Batuta Advocate this morning, I read this amazing story about a guy called Reg Slim Flynn who lives in Taree. And uh, to do the story justice, I've got the editor of the Batuta Advocate on the line. G'day, Clancy. Well, who could resist such a fabulous yarn about an old fella teaching three young crims a lesson, especially when his neighbours had given the advocate such quotable quotes? I saw old Reg run to his front door and lock it after seeing someone sneaking in the back side. I heard him cry, let's dance, pretty boy, and the house erupted. Reg toweled those druggy f**kwits for two whole hours. He wiped the floor with a lot of them. Now, the only problem, as Media Watch revealed last November, is that Batuta is right on the edge of the Simpson Desert. It has a population of zero, just one abandoned building, and its newspaper is a spoof. But Claire Blake and her 4BC producer must have missed this message because they called up the advocate and got the editor-in-chief, Clancy Overell, to retail the tale. These three young blokes in their uh, late teens and early 20s have ended up unconscious on Reg's front lawn. All three of them, 10 metres from the steps. So Reg is claiming that these kids have, uh, have gotten a fright coming up the stairs because he's met them at the top and they've both fallen down and knocked themselves out. All three of them. And uh, landed... 10 metres away. It uh, sounds like he's locked the front door and the back door and really had a bit of a go. And, and they were unable to escape. So I think they, they picked the wrong house to break into there, Claire. Well, that's what I'm thinking. But, you know, I hope the law doesn't end up on the wrong side of the good guy in this story, as it so often does. Now, a story like this is just crying out for some good talkback. And soon Claire was throwing open the lines and letting her listeners have their say. What do you think, Bruce? Oh, I reckon uh, a bit of contact counselling never went astray in my day, eh? Hey? G'day, Don. What did you think about Reg Slim Finn? Hello, the lovely Claire. Does, isn't that a great story? Oh, the best. <laughs> Claire even asked her regular guests what they thought, including Fairfax's entertainment writer, Peter Ford. Ooh, ooh, that's like that Clint Eastwood movie, isn't it? <laughs> Where he, he fights back against, yeah. Is that I, Gran Torino you're talking about? On and on it went, with the tall tale of Reg the Avenger weaving in and out of Claire's programme all afternoon. But how did 4BC fall for the hoax? Claire Blake told Media Watch... It became clear to us during the discussion that the story had several major holes in it. We pointed this out to the audience in a light-hearted manner on air. Oh, really? That's not what it sounded like to us. And while we're about it, since that photo of Reg in the Batuta Advocate obviously can't be Reg, we wondered who it might be. And we've discovered it's a stock image of a cheerful senior man who appears to be related to sad old man and pensive senior man. All three are the father of Russian photographer Anna Lure from St. Petersburg, who tells us he's not Reg at all, he's Mikhail. 